Do you feel like you've stalled out in terms of making forward progress toward the big goals you have for your life? Well, it might be time to take a pause, take a breath, and reflect. I'm going to share with you the reflection process I take my clients through so that they can align their past, current, and future states and start making that forward progress toward their big dreams. Stay tuned. For the best advice on how to confidently live your path of purpose while owning your authenticity, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. Welcome to The Inner Fire with me, Heather Evans, your confidence coach and career vision strategist. It's time to live your life of purpose while owning your authenticity. Let's ignite our potential together. So the reflection process that I'm about to walk you through is one that I use with my clients on a regular basis. We look at the past state, the desired future state, and then we look at what's happening currently to see everything that's brought you to this current moment and then what might need to shift in order to get you achieving the goals you want in your future. Now, I find this process so effective that I actually do this myself at least once a quarter. So get ready, because now it's your turn. So before we begin, I want you to grab a piece of paper or pull up a blank document on your computer. And I want you to actually walk through this process as I'm talking about it. The first step in this reflection process is to take a look at your past state. And I want you to write down the answers to some of these questions. I want you to think about what was the environment that I grew up in? literal environment? What was your home like? What kind of town did you grow up in? Did you move a lot? Did you grow up in one place uh, your entire childhood? I want you to think about the people that you were surrounded with. Did you have a lot of family around you? Were you more in isolation? What were your friend networks like? I also want you to think about the activities you were involved in. What did your schooling look like? Did you go to university? Did you start working at a young age? What types of jobs have you had? What volunteer experiences have you had? So I want you to take some time and I want you to reflect on everything that's occurred in the past that has helped shape who you are right now in this moment. So again, lots of questions to ask yourself as you're reflecting on your past. In addition to this kind of broad sweeping look at your past, writing down these activities, the people that you were surrounded by, the type of environment that you grew up in, the schooling you had, the type of work you've done, I also want you to consider what are some of the biggest moments in your life. Now, these might be obstacles you've had to overcome. These might be awards you've received or successes that you've had. What are some of those big moments that have left impressions on you, some of the things that have shaped why it is you're doing what you're doing today. And just to give you an example of this, I suffered from eating disorders for over 20 years. Um, my journey with eating disorders started when I was around 12 years old and it lasted well uh, into my early 30s. And the work that I had to do to overcome my eating disorders has shaped who I am today. It's a component in how I work with people, how I relate to people, how I connect with them, and how I operate in this world today. So what are some things, that's just an example, what, what are some things that you have dealt with in your life, some successes that you've had, these big things that have left a mark on you, an impression on you, and you don't have to assess right now how it might be impacting how you work or how you're showing up. I simply want you to write them down and just take note of them that they've occurred in your life. So this is step one of the reflection process, looking at your past, looking at all of those factors that have shaped who you are today. So the next part of this process is to reflect on the future you want to create for yourself. Now, I want you to go a little crazy. I want you to go big. I want you to think about this as though nothing is off the table. So what do you want to manifest in your future? Where do you want to be living? What kind of activities do you want to be doing? 
What does your work life look like? What do your relationships look like? What does your family life look like? How much money are you earning? Do you travel? Do you stay at home? Are you owning? Are you renting? What is your ideal future? Nothing, nothing, nothing is off the table. So full permission to dream your wildest dream and reflect on this. I want you to think about the highest manifestation of yourself, the highest manifestation of your work, the highest manifestation of the life you could be living and what does that look like? Now, for some people when they're reflecting on this, it can be helpful to not only write it down, but also to find some images that resonate with you. So I have some clients who will turn to things like Pinterest and they'll put together an online vision board. If you're somebody who likes the cut and paste version, you can grab some old magazines, some newspapers, start cutting those up and creating a tangible vision board for yourself. That can be helpful in this process. Another technique that you can use when envisioning your ideal future is you can actually reflect and write a day in the life of. So you would actually write down, I wake up at this time, this is what happens um, throughout the course of my day, all the way until you go to bed at night. So what does that look like for you? And um, I'll share an example <laughs> of, of my ideal future, but you know, I, I wake up early in the morning around 5 a.m. A paper copy of the New York Times is on my front doorstep. I just love the feeling of, of opening up a paper and sitting down and reading it. Um, I have a delicious cup of homemade chai, so I've had time to find the spices and create my own chai mix and, and cook it on the stove, and I make that for myself in the morning. I live on this beautiful piece of property on Vancouver Island in Canada, so I have this very clear vision. And the more specific you can be, the better. So add in those specifics around what that day looks like and start manifesting that ideal future for yourself during this reflection process. So I wanna know what your ideal future looks like. Comment below and share with me a couple of elements of your ideal life. What does it look like? What's happening? Where do you live? Who are you surrounded by? What are you doing? Share whatever you like, I'd love to hear from you. So in the third step of this reflection process, we take a look at what is happening in the here and now. So where are you living? Who are you surrounded by? What kind of work are you doing? Are you volunteering? What are your interests? What, what do the relationships in your life look like? Because what we wanna do is we wanna look at how the past has shaped you, where we want to go in our future, but then we also have to look at the here and now to assess, does something need to change? Does something need to shift in order for you to manifest and achieve that ideal life that you laid out for yourself. So when I say something needs to shift or change, it might mean that there's some inner work that needs to be done. There might be some habits or patterns that need to be let go of to everything from a bigger shift or move. Maybe you need to shift your career track. Maybe there's a relationship that needs to end or begin in order for your ideal life to start. So when you're looking at your current state, what are some things that could change or need to change in order for you to start living your ideal life today? Oftentimes we feel as though we need to wait for the whole package to be delivered that unless all, every aspect or all parts of my ideal life are happening, then it's not happening at all. The fact of the matter is we are living our ideal life every single day in small ways. So you're getting all of these tiny little packages delivered to you based on the actions, the thoughts, the ways in which you show up right here, right now. So if you're not living your ideal life today, what is one thing you could do? What is one thing you could shift or change right now to make your ideal life your reality today? Are you ready to start confidently living your path of purpose? I know you are. I want you to check out my recent video on how to do just that. I'll include a link for that below. So this reflection process is powerful and it's part of the deeper inner work we need to do in order to assess if 
we are moving toward living our ideal future, doing the work we love, surrounded by the people we love, and thriving in confidence each and every day. If you're ready to deepen this work and you're ready to excavate and start making some shifts or changes to get you to that ideal future, I want you to book a breakthrough session today. I'll include a link for that below. Are you looking for support, encouragement, motivation, and accountability on this journey? I have just the thing for you. Be sure to join my VIP Facebook group for Soulpreneurial Women. It's called Ignite, and I'll include a link for that below. If this video was helpful, be sure to type reflection in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified whenever I release a new video every Thursday. Until next time, stay ignited out there. See you soon.